Welcome back to another episode of Fat Rob's Fishing. It is Sunday morning, mid morning. It's about 10 in the morning. No, 9:30. Take that back. It's about 38 degrees outside right now. Get the kayak loaded up. The new Bonafide SS107 loaded up, and I am headed out for about an hour and a half drive to meet my buddy Butch. We're going to a power plant lake. The water should be a little bit warmer, so that should increase our chances of catching some fish today. And I really want to catch my first fish out of this kayak. So that's the game plan. Make a quick trip out there, fish for a couple of hours, catch a couple of fish, just have a good time. So let's see what happens. Stay tuned. We'll be back. Well, you know it's going to be a busy day at the lake when you pull up and there's like a hundred trucks at the boat ramp. Made it out on the lake. You guys probably cannot see it, but I got the fish finder set up. First thing I'm throwing is the um, Z-Man Chatterbait. I got it on the new rod and reel combo. I gotta tell you, this thing is, um, I was skeptical about buying this for Black Friday, but for the price, I couldn't beat it. And I mean, it's, it's just smooth. It is really smooth. I've been impressed. I haven't caught a fish with it yet, but I'm impressed with the way it casts. It would be a great Sunday if I could catch the first fish and do like my buddy Morales Texas Fishing says, get Pepe Le Pew off the boat. That's what I'm looking for today. Get that skunk off the new yak. Go catch up with bush. I think we want to go try to throw that on the thing. Not a bite. The fish finder's a distraction. Yeah. I kind of understand how to read it now a little bit. I really like how this um, 13 real cast. It just has some distance, it's like smooth. That's me. Oh, that's you. Damn it. <laughs> I was like, I away with the band. I'm sitting there trying to really catch up. I'm like, why is my chatterbait not vibrating? <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> I butch cut one on a wacky rig so we're gonna bring out the secret sauce the wacky rigged sweet tater pie let's go get this one that line memory is awful One of these days I'm going to get comfortable. This is a busy lake and these boaters all oh, ass. I guess if I had a boat I'd probably be doing the same thing though.
It's a rainbow. Let's see if I can turn it where you can see it. I know the GoPro picked it up, but there's a rainbow over there. Right there. It's raining. The water's wet. Just in case y'all didn't know that. Oh, ho, 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 he got off. That was a nice bass. First fish on the new yak. We didn't skunk. Let's get a picture. Me and my new buddy. This fish is so warm. Check it out. Look at that little belly on them. Healthy fish. Thank you. Lost another one at the boat. That's two I've lost here at the boat. Stop biting me, bro. Oh. Hook out. Out. Show it off. Look at that bad boy right there. That's a beautiful bass. We can get that scale out. Let's get the scale zeroed out. Find the gill plate. What we got? Three pounds, thirteen ounces. Very nice. There you go. Beautiful bass. Beautiful three pounder. Thank you. Got him. Oh, I dropped him. It's all good. We got him in the boat. Well, that's gonna end it, guys. We gotta head home. We caught three. We just seen a three pounder. We lost to the boat. How'd you do? I'm up over my corner again. I caught two right over my corner over there. Yeah. Then went back over there and caught you know, about four and a half, five out of that same spot I was at earlier. A five pounder? Ding! I caught a three pounder. I 
I gotta get out of here. The wife's already trying to track me down. So I caught three. I lost three at the boat. The biggest being that three pounder. All of them on the wacky rig. On the wacky rig? Yep. Yeah, I caught the one on the jig. I caught those two on the wacky rig. I caught the one on that four and that big.